The fifth attempt at amending the 1999 constitution is ongoing. The 44 constitution review bills have been transmitted to the state houses of assembly for consideration and passage by at least two-thirds of them as required by the constitution before they can be transmitted to the president for assent. While some say the constitution does not need amending, that instead a new one should be drafted to capture the country's realities. Questions continue to be asked of the National Assembly regarding why certain amendments were not included. One of them is the creation of state police, considering the rise in insecurity across the country. The constitution forbids anybody from making laws that pertain to, um, to security or having bodies that are... Uh, uh, having bodies that discharge any responsibility pertaining to security. How does that work? Having one federal police, one police force, which you call it a force, with a colonial mentality of using it to suppress people and keeping a regime in power, we, we really need to, to, have, um, to have changed that. And there's lots of things on the exclusive list that ought not to be there. The issue of restructuring, which in recent times has been advocated for by Nigerians, was also not captured. This is a concern for some as well. We need both fiscal and physical restructuring. Fiscal restructuring in terms of monies, um, revenue sharing formula, but more importantly is the, the restructuring of the political structure of Nigeria. I believe that the size of government is too big. We need to reduce the National Assembly, for instance, 469 members doing what? We could reduce the Senate by one third. We could reduce the House of Rest by one third. We could also reduce the number of members of state houses of assembly. Also considering court processes involving defections of governors and lawmakers, Mr. Ojo believes the National Assembly missed a chance to address the matter constitutionally once and for all. The defection of governors, as immoral as it is, we are told that there is no constitutional provision that says that if a governor defects from party that brought him to power or brought her to power, he has to lose his seat. So I feel that that is another lacuna that should have been taken care of by the, by the constitution. The issue of state creation, which was also not captured, despite agitations by various groups, is a concern for many. Regardless, some Nigerians believe that a successful attempt this time to amend the constitution, especially on some critical provisions which were rejected by the state assemblies, as well as those not assented to by the president, would address some major national concerns. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News. Well, joining me now on the news at 10 to take a deeper look at this exclusion from the Constitution Amendments is a senior advocate of Nigeria, Dr. Ehioge West Idaosa. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. There's been a long talk about the need for amending Nigeria's constitution. This has spanned through three presidents, from Abbasanjo to Yaradua to Jonathan, and now this present administration. Why do you think we've had this difficulty in getting, uh, you know, amending a constitution, one that is acceptable to all Nigerians? Well, as you know, the constitution is a, a living document. It's um, the foundation of our nation state. So it changes from time to time, I mean, sequel to the needs of the people arising from interest aggregation and interest articulation. So you're not likely to have uh, a fledging democracy like ours have in one fell swoop a complete amendment of the Nigerian constitution. So far, we are dealing now with the fifth alteration bills. So it will mean that we have had four successful uh, amendments to the Constitution. But what is the, not satisfactory is that the fundamental areas that people really agitate about have not been tampered with. And I'm hoping that sooner or later we will get to those issues. And would you call those areas, uh, you know, state creation, state police, or even restructuring? Yes, I mean, you cannot run away from state police. Ultimately, it's going to be the solution uh, to improve security in our national life. You don't expect uh, a police 
officer from my village in Edo State to be successful in running a divisional office in KB or Sokoto, for example. We know the, cons the constraints. Uh, to that extent, I think state police is it an idea whose time has come, but we are living in denial. But I'm believing that sustained pressure on this will get the National Assembly to do the right thing. Some have said perhaps state governments take control of their affairs and let the federal governments go to court. What do you think? Um, the future of this constitution, or do you see us continuing with alterations year in, year out, administration in, administration out? Well, we are, we are a federating unit, and by our constitution, we are one indivisible unit. And we have the obligation to protect our constitution and defend it. So in this democracy, we must respect the rule of law. Even if the states are not faring well in certain areas, uh, they cannot resort to self-help. The best they can do is to put the appropriate pressure on the National Assembly to get the business of amending the constitution to deal with the structural defects of uh, the document itself. You will have to be talking about rescheduling the method of derivation of revenue. You will have to deal with state police. You will have to deal with giving uh, administrative venom to local government system of government in the constitution so that they don't become the object of state suppression or oppression and so on and so forth. I think this must be brought to the table so the civil societies and the public will have to do a lot in this direction. We'd like to appreciate your time on the news at 10. Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Dr. Ehiuge West Itahosa, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.